All right, so I decided to fast forward the tape to see what's after Bullhead. You guys have probably thought the same thing, some of you. Like, I wonder if there's anything after Bullhead. Well, there is. And uh, it rings a bell. I didn't remember what it was, but when I listened to it, it was a surprise. And um, so we finished the tape. And I'm going to play for you. <laughs> I I had to look up and see, okay, when did they record this album? It was 1989. Fits in perfectly. So, here we go. Um, this is what Kurt recorded after Bullhead. And then I have another story for you. Here, wait. Oh, i got to show you the tape so you know. There. And a bullhead. So yeah, you guys don't know what that is, or this, 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 it's Operation Ivy, Operation Ivy, now, I, I wasn't really that into it, but I, I thought it sounded interesting, you know, for, um, I wasn't just, I wasn't, it, I, I became more of an Op Ivy fan later on, but, you know, I rolled with it. Um, she had brings back a memory that, you know, it's just like it was something that Kurt wanted to add on there, and I was kind of like, oh, cool. <laughs> anyway, so this is the uh, Subvert uh, Nightmare Tour story, and we stayed with Matt from Op Ivy. It was in, it was after he left the band. We stayed with him in Berkeley, and he lived um, next door, kind of connected to Lookout Records. I remember uh, Kamala. I think Kamala maybe lived there. Anyway, so we all stayed there, and in the morning I I get up to go out to the van, and the van's gone. So this is Subvert and Christ on the Crutch. So every everybody from Christ on the Crutch and everybody from Subvert sleeping inside uh, Matt's apartment. It was kind of a, just a big apartment, loft maybe kind of place in Berkeley. And uh, I come up and I'm like, the van's gone, you guys, and everybody's like, what, 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 you know? And then it's like, you know, trying to figure out what happened. We we were sure it got stolen, but it got towed. Because it was like a little bit in a red zone that was like scratched off. The red zone was like kind of missing, and we looked we're like, "Where's the red zone?" You know, when we got the we got the van. We we found out the whole deal, and it kind of ruined the tour because we were supposed to go to Los Angeles and play with like Final Conflict. It was probably I don't remember who else, but it was a big show down there. Um, Ron Martinez. You know, set it up. I mean, it was it was going to be our second time down there, and I know I just remember it was it was going to be a blowout. Um, didn't happen, and we had to use every bit of money to get the van out, and then had to get a little bit more money loaned to us, I think, to get the van out. Um, let's see. few members of Christ on the Crutch, and I think Nate, went and busted, bust down on the, down in Berkeley and made a little bit extra money to get some gas in the car so we could get rolling. Uh, we made it home, but that was the last of that tour. It was, it was a tour downer, but the night before, I think it was the night before that we played with Bulimia Banquet, that whole story. 
So anyway, I wanted to share that stuff. Pretty pretty good stories. Good stories keep coming up, you know. Like finding that op ivy on there reminded me of the the subvert story. So anyway, okay, thank you.